we've got brakes. Fun, fun brakes. And a booster. We are at a secret location. I bought uh, an air system for the Corvette. Now I put the tank in yesterday and it's a little small. I'll show you a picture of that now. Uh, so I reached out on uh, Facebook Marketplace to sell the tank and possibly get a new one. So I reached out to a friend of mine, a actual local celebrity here in Ottawa. And uh, we are here to trade tanks. He has one that's too big for his car, and mine's gonna work for his, so. Yeah. So yeah, let me uh, just embarrass him a little bit. You might uh, recognize him from this uh, magazine that uh, just recently released. That's his beautiful bug right there. Uh, he's also gonna sign this for me because he is famous and he doesn't know, really know it yet. So yeah, we'll get some footage of that. Ah. So what's happening? There you go. Well, you know. Ah. Hey, oh, look at this guy. Hey. Right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, are you it's, filming? It's huge, yeah. yeah. Look at that. It's full of water. Well, that's pretty much it. It's for transport, so. I like it. <laughs> I like it. You see this? Who is this bigger? <laughs> just a little. Just hey. a little. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, nothing wrong. You want to keep the. Uh, oh, if you know what? Fuck it. I can. I can get some uh, pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, just throw it in the sure. Yeah. Inside, no, yeah. Yeah. It's the beater. Look at that, see? Eh? All in leather. Jesus, look at that. There you go. Nice, that's perfect. You want the sack? No, nope. well, I can throw it out. I don't oh, care, good. whatever. That's good. Perfect. How many gallons? Two. There Two, you go. yeah. Perfect. Is it going to be enough? I think it's seven mine. I can't remember. 
I need, I need, see I need, I need a second. Still time. have the freaking sticker on it, so. Jesus. <laughs> I have something. Look at that. Oh. I have one. Oh, you got of one. Of course. Oh. <laughs> see, when I when I have to sign autographs, I have to keep a pen on me too. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look hey, at that. Hey, look at this. Where, where, where do you want to? I don't know. You can sign on there, and then you can sign on my chest. On my chest? Oh, over the tits there? Something? Fuck you yeah. Fucking... Look at this, eh? And... I said you're a local celebrity, so... Yeah, I am. He is, yeah. I didn't tell go. him where we are either, so it's a secret. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you back at the garage. And we're back at the shop. We are cleaning up, putting some stuff away. I've got a lot of stuff on the go here at the moment. Uh, I've been taking off the drive shafts. I've taken off the rest of the bumper. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. So I'm prepping to start welding the shock mount on either side. Uh, in trying to take the drive shaft off, I broke two sockets, two eight millimeter sockets. And uh, that's all I had apparently. And we're back at the shop. We are cleaning up, putting some stuff away. I've got a lot of stuff on the go here at the moment. Uh, I've been taking off the drive shafts. I've taken off the rest of the bumper. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. So I'm prepping to start welding the shock mount on either side. Uh, in trying to take the drive shaft off, I broke two sockets, two eight millimeter sockets. And uh, that's all I had apparently out of the million of, out of the millions of tools I have. So I picked these up on uh, Amazon. We'll see how they work out, but yeah, I just, you know, an impact socket set. We'll get that going. I got a new old Chromie to kind of get me through because I can't go into the tool store and exchange my tools for free that break. So yeah, uh, here they are. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, they're Chrome sockets. Shouldn't have been using Chrome sockets on a drive shaft possibly, but it is what it is. I had to use the tools I had. So anyway, we're back at the shop. Uh, we just met with Carl. Thank you again, Carl, for the amazing air tank. Uh, so it's a six and a half gallon. I did some calculations and uh, figured out that this tank will be more than sufficient uh, for what I need. Now, I have one small air tank. It's a very small one. Uh, and I'll show it to you. It's inside here. So this is a oh geez. So this is very tiny air tank. Uh, I have a second one of these on the way, so we can fill this tank up uh, fairly quickly. Now on the side covers here. So on the side covers on either side where the speakers used to be, the plan is to remove the speakers. They're already removed. Is the plan is not to put them back in. So I wanted to keep some kind of storage because these bins will become subwoofer boxes. Uh, so I was looking at designing the back here, maybe suspend the tank, push the tank back, build a box at the back here. I'm going to be going with an electric pneumatic kind of control that I'm going to build myself with some buttons and all kinds of things that are kind of flush mounted into the dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I got the sides back from work and uh, I'm going to paint them or do something with them. So uh, on the back side, I find that this air tank fits right inside this little cubby back here. So this fits in there. There's enough room to run a line out uh, for the filter, which I can put up inside uh, of here so it gets some fresh air. I can vent a cover here to also allow some fresh air to go through and maybe put a computer fan or, you know, something like that to kind of keep some air moving through here to kind of keep these cool. Uh, I don't anticipate them running all that much, but you never know. Uh, so when the second one comes, it will go over there. I'm going to kind of mock up some stuff and uh, repaint the tank. I have to figure out a way to kind of mount this so it's solid. Um, I can get underneath no problem, but in here I was hoping to kind of bolt it into the side here, but the frame rail runs along here, so there's not much room underneath. So that being said, I was going to build a box out of MDF in the back and have the pumps back here and kind of have this, you know, square going off the side. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, as now I find that these fit in here. So 
with the line coming out, it can go right into the tank and I could do something nice with some hard lines maybe. And this can actually go right to the back. And there is also enough room to put the solenoids and all this kind of thing in here and then just have this as an access panel so I can still get in there and do some work if needed. Also, the bumper is coming along. I've taken off the old straps and the old muffler hangers and stuff, a lot of corrosion. As you can see the other side, we had already done from before, so I'm gonna get the back cleaned up. Grind all that off and well, lightly grind it, uh, wire brush it, what have you. Clean it, paint it, and then it goes back on the car. I've been waiting to put this back together because I didn't know what I was gonna do with that. So we'll see. Uh, I might now just bolt this to the floor. I want to kind of suspend it, have some lights underneath, you know, something fancy. Still have lots of room for the sunroof to sit in here. That is the plan to be able to still do that. Possibly put a bag in the middle if we're going on a trip or, you know, something like that. So we're going to get back to work. Uh, I'm going to continue on the drive shaft, take them off. I'm changing all the U-joints. Also changing the wheel bearings, brakes. I've got all that stuff on the go. So uh, I know I've mentioned many times that the plan is to change this mount. I'm still, I'm very hesitant because I've never done it before, but we're going to attempt it. So the drive shaft has to come off. Still going to get rid of those. Change the fluids, things like that as well. Clean up this frame rail and around the back. Paint it. Uh, new gas lines, things like that. So that's where we're at. We're going to, we just got to get started. Okay, well the battery died last night and uh, I didn't really notice until it was too late. So I'll give you a quick update. Drive shafts are out, new tools are working great, wheel bearings are out. They both felt okay, but we're going to change them anyway as I keep taking apart the suspension. Um, it appears that all the bushings are shot. <sighs> so I don't know if I'll do them right now or later. Uh, yeah, drive shafts are out. Now they're ready to be cleaned. The brake calipers are almost done. Um, I need to get them home so then I can put in the new hardware and have them rebuilt. For now, this needs to be cleaned ASAP. It's a little cold outside, so I was going to do it outside because this aluminum just creates the crazy amount of dust in here. And I'd rather not breathe it in, so we're going to do this outside. Maybe this weekend when it gets warmer. For now, I'm going to open up some more boxes. i got lots of parts here i got some wood uh some scrap so we're gonna put that in there and see how this all fits and then get this mounted up and you know do a bunch of fun stuff so i'll get this mail open see what i got and uh, we'll get back to work we're back home now with the calipers and we are going to get them disassembled so we can reassemble them with new parts um here i've taken out the piston of one pretty easy task uh use this nice blow section and uh put it in the hole block the other side blast it out uh this one's not moving so i'm guessing it's seized you're going to try and get that out while i'm doing that i'm prepping the brackets they're going to be hung up painted hopefully painted tonight so they'll be dry in the morning brake booster is back as well nice and cleaned up we had a bit of a leak uh from the master cylinder which had come down here Peel all the paint off the bottom and kind of rot it around the back. So I removed the paint and the rest. I'll clean that as well and paint that. Uh, yeah. We're going to keep going along. Tomorrow is the bumper. So, yeah, let's go. Maybe I'll wear some safety glasses. <laughs>
I'm just gonna plug one hole. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a big one. Yes, I do have a sandblasting cabinet. The compressor doesn't really like the sandblasting cabinet because the uh, compressor tank is a little small. So I haven't got a new nozzle for the sandblaster yet either. So we'll see. This should be fine. I mean, they're aluminum calipers. They clean up pretty nice with a wire brush. Bombs away! Moving right along. So, next day, here's the brake booster. It all came out nice too. Uh, also, what I didn't show is I removed the steering shaft and cleaned it and painted it and greased it back up. So, it's good to go. This wiring harness we're going to do something with. I think there's some junk here I can get rid of. And a couple things I have to reroute, like that sensor goes down and out and it's going to get in the way of the exhaust so I think I might route it up maybe this way make a nice loom that goes across there with the spark plug wires and uh, things like that but that's another day uh, we're going to continue cleaning up I want to get that bumper done today and paint it and then we can get the gas tank and put it on U joints are out. So now, uh, U joints are out there. We're soaking the shafts and the yokes and whatever in penetrating fluid uh, to kind of get some of that grease out. I'm going to wire brush them, soak them, paint them, uh, clean them up too. Um, if I had a workbench, it probably would have went a little better. I have this one, but uh, I can't put this vise in it. This vise uh, was given to me by my uncle. Um, and yeah, I need to build a workbench here, I think, so I can do stuff like this a little easier. Uh, so I'm taking things to work. But on uh, a lighter note, we have installed the booster. So the booster is cleaned up. This section is all real nice. This looks looking really good. So 
Uh, I want to get this rear suspension done soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bushings now or not. I really got to get that shock mount on. But the bumper's done. And the plan is, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to get this rear bumper back on. I'm going to take these mounts off. All this is going to be cleaned and painted up, and then I'll deal with the rest of that stuff after. Maybe bring this stuff to work next week, wire brush it, degrease it, clean it, paint it. Yeah. And then we're that much closer to getting the rear end done. And uh, do a fluid change. Oh, yeah. Gas lines. Oh. Anyway. I think we'll get onto that soon. Hey, what do you know? So, get something organized here. And we've got just a bit more rust and yuck under there. So, get those brackets off that hold the bumper on. I'm going to clean all this and take care of it now uh, while I have the chance. So, wire brush, you know, do the J thing. And uh, then we'll move on to this, get this cleaned up, clean these bolts, let that soak, get those cleaned up. We're making good progress. We gotta go. Chrome, you know, a little bit of. Oh, that does not stick very good. Oh, that smells lovely. Mm. It does. It smells amazing. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna need your help. Oh, but I'm holding this. That's fine. It can be placed somewhere. Down there, wherever. Down there, on this pile of... <laughs> this is anti-seize. Okay. You put this on threads. Help with corrosion and whatever. Don't touch it with your fingers. Shorts, two mids, two longs. Like that, folks. 
job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, there'll be some adjustment, but that looks really nice. Yeehaw! Yeah. Was that an index finger you just held no. up there? Oh, wow. <laughs> she has a bum thumb. <laughs> So dinner's done and now we are come back to the garage to check on some parts. We still have these soaking away with some degreaser. Um, they need a little bit more work before those go on. These turned out really nice. We've got some freshly refurbished uh, bumper mounts for the back here. So uh, we're gonna get them and the bolts, throw them on. Got the gas tank in this hole, and uh, so it's out of the way because we're starting to lose some room in the shop here because we keep taking things apart and I'm putting them back on the car. Uh, clean up this nice brass fitting, put a new piece of fuel line on, getting this stuff prepped. Uh, I did find an issue with the vent tube that runs the length of the car. It's clogged solid, so I'm trying to see if I can either eliminate that somehow or maybe move this can to the back the um, charcoal canister or something like that. I think that's it there. I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out how all this stuff works, but I like to kind of declutter some stuff, stuff I don't need. Uh, because, you know, we don't really worry about emissions here. This is not an electric vehicle. This is gonna offset the electric vehicles. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, get this on and get them in. And just like that, we have a dusty gas tank in there, but new. Just a bit of a difference, eh? <laughs> so, things are going very well. Um, as you can see here, I've been looking through some of the wiring diagrams. I've cut off some of the excess. I've labeled some wires under here. This is for the new, the new light setup. 
So we're still gonna have all the functionality. We're gonna use a Blue Ghost controller, which is um, a lighting sequencer for LEDs. So the custom lights, um, so the custom lights that I have for the car, we're working on that at some point. I uh, still gotta get the bumper uh, with COVID and stuff. I can't really go visit my parents and go get it. Uh, they have it down in London, so we're gonna get that eventually, maybe uh, June or something like that, whenever this kind of lightens up a bit. Um, and then we can start fitting that on the car as well. I've got some patches to do, which I've done a little bit of fiberglass work here. I'm gonna drill another hole, smooth this out, and then hopefully start on some of this body work. Um, once I get the suspension all buttoned up, but wow, that looks really good. I'll try and throw in a before and after uh, with all this and get that going. But for a few hundred bucks, uh, the guy rebuilt it for me. So that was huge. Big thanks to Kyle too for giving me this contact. Uh, really good, really good. Um, also new straps, as you could probably see. Uh, they're, they're pretty cheap, so I just figured I'd change them. A uh, little bit look underneath. It's looking really nice. Might put a bit more paint on that bumper there, or on that gas tank. Uh, I might have scraped it, putting it in. So, got the muffler hangers that are going to be changed. Uh, we're going to do that, but slowly from the back to the front. She'll be pretty well all brand new, so it's going pretty well. Right now, uh, I need some bushings. As you can see, those are real bad as I just keep going and keep finding more things that uh, need to be changed. Also, these control arms. If you can hear this. That needs to be changed. Or that tie rod end, I mean. So it looks to be the inner, which is making the noise. I can't find this part anywhere, this thing. Uh, like the stock one. So I did see some aftermarket ones. Obviously not in the budget. They're a couple hundred bucks US. Uh, so anyway, we're going to try and figure out how to get those. We're going to get some bushings. I think, I mean, while I have it all apart, I might as well. Everything else I have, the brake calipers are in there. They're going on here. New bearings, I got to bring that stuff to work. Get the drive shafts in, paint all this. Oh yeah. But it's coming together pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's it for tonight. Gonna head into bed, I gotta work tomorrow. So, we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, take care.